Thank you for being here. Obviously, we are in preparation mode for the weather event that is going to uh, we're going to experience in the next few hours. Uh, our team started, you know, discussing last night and had a had a emergency operations center meeting this morning. Um, first off, um, what we want to get out is that you know we are expecting winds to get high. Um, it could go as high as wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. If you are in a trailer, that is not the proper shelter to be in with these high wind gusts. So we opened, um, we're going to open Terrytown Playground. That is at 641 Heritage, um, Heritage um, in Terrytown at noon. So anyone who is in a trailer, we highly encourage you to get to Terrytown. That building is very safe. It's going to be able to withstand uh, the weather conditions. We want you in, to be in a safe place. You have to bring your own food. Um, and that is going to stay open for the duration of the event. So we're just going to see how the night plays out, but you'll be able to stay there uh, until it's safe to go back to your house. Um, Jefferson Parish government is closing at 1130. As you know, and you've been reporting, many of the school systems are closing. We want to give our employees time to go pick up kids. So government is closing at 1130, even though many of the buildings will still remain open, but our employees, um, other than the, the essential employees that have to be here to work the storm, are going to leave at 1130. Um, transit is going to operate for as long as they can until the wind gets too high. So the buses will operate for as long as they potentially can. I think at about 35 miles per hour, they have to shut down their operation. And our garbage contractor um, started early this morning. They anticipate being finished, um, but garbage, you know, for as long as they can, garbage will be as usual today, and they're quickly trying to pick up everything out there. Um, anything on the outside of your house that could fly um, be a projectile, damage your own house, your own garden, anything needs to be tied down or brought inside if at all possible. Um, that's on my to-do list today. I, I got to get somebody to bring my chairs and my, my lawn chairs and stuff like that inside. Um, and our public works team is really out there. Um, we have 100 out of 194 pumps, we have 192 working. There's only two that are down and one of those actually has a portable pump to replace it. And so that those are at Perkins Pump Station and Bayou Signet are the ones that are down. So we have 192 out of 194 pumps in operation. Our public works team is busy and active right now. Um, they're going to be manning the pump stations throughout the night and throughout the duration of this event. And we also have other employees on standby. And then I think um, what we really want to stress is that, look, uh, we were, and we're also securing all our construction sites. So, you know, public works team is extremely busy. Um, but the message I really want to send is we, we experienced weather like this a little over a year ago, December 14th. Had I not seen it with my own eyes and walked through those neighborhoods of Marrero and Harvey and Gretna, the absolute devastation of tornadoes and the people that I talked to on the streets had seconds to respond. Uh, we are having those risks with this weather event. So, you need to mentally prepare yourself. You have seconds to respond. You need to know where you're going to go. The internal um, room in your house, whether it's a closet, a bathroom, because the most dangerous um, issue during a tornado is flying debris. And your windows could be busted out. Um, things could be flying through your windows. So please be off the road. That's why everybody's doing an early dismissal, so everybody can get home and be in a safe, sturdy building. That is the reason why we're doing all this, is that there's going to be very little traffic on the road um, and that everybody's safe in a strong building. And please prepare yourself to just know um, where you're going to go if a tornado comes into your community. Um, you know, and it's just a little over a year ago that we saw this. And we saw um, houses completely destroyed. And by a miracle, nobody was killed. But people had to react within seconds. So keep your television on. Keep your media on. Um, I'm sure you all are going to be briefing where if we have any tornadoes, where it's going. People literally told me I was I had the TV on and they were telling us to take cover in the Harvey area. Um, so it was through it's just through staying aware and, and being prepared for you and your family. So that's really what we want to stress uh, today. OK, I think um, our emergency operations center is active. Uh, the number is five zero four. 349-5360. Obviously, for life-threatening emergencies, we want you to call 911, but just know that our emergency operation line is 504-349-5360.